Brilliant. I'm not sure I've done one before. I might have, so I'll have to have two on this one. I went to school in London. I started school in Fulham. I was the only non-white person in Fulham. And in the junior school, they made me put a wig on and I was in some kind of play up to skip across the, the hall in front of the school, all the school, and to pretend to be a gollywog. Then I went to live in Tottenham. Tottenham, 10 years after the Second World War, still bomb sites everywhere. Poverty was pff, everywhere. You didn't see anybody run off. You had an outside toilet, no bathroom, one bed between three brothers, no car, no fridge. Got a washing machine in the end, no kitchen units, no wash hand basin, one Belfast sink, one hot tap, one cold tap. Family of seven. Now you imagine the conditions we live in that for six years. And the conditions and the people that I went to school with were living in similar conditions. So life was tough. I was never bullied. Never. Never. Not at all. I went to senior school. I got a few fights in junior school and senior school. Never bullied. I worked on building sites at 15, 48 hours a week. Different jobs. I'd argue with great big blokes, twice my size, area managers, managers, foremen. I don't take any nonsense from anybody. I don't do it. I don't, I will not get intimidated. I don't bow down to bullies. Now, you know that's not the case for everybody. I know I've come across situations where I've been told that I'm going to be killed, shot, walking across a car park in a brewery, thinking I'm going to be shot in this situation, told I'm going to be put in concrete in a river, told by very famous people that they've heard that I'm going to be killed and shot. I've been in India where I've been in dangerous places in India where I think we're going to be killed a few times. Um, I've been attacked when I'm about 70 years old in a, in a hotel bar in uh, Bournemouth by somebody half my age, his office damn head. And I remember what I was thinking, I'm going to kill this man. I went to leap for his neck because he pushed me from behind because he's a coward. But luckily I just met three blokes who um, were quite tough ones, a boxer. I wanted to just come out of prison for, for murder. Anyway, this man saw this person push me. So before I could get with this man's neck, the murderer, kind friend of mine I just met, he jumped him and pushed him against the wall and that was the end of that one. And I was so drunk, I just got my bag, that was my carry bag that I was carrying. And I got in the lift and went to bed. But I've seen some strange times. I've been in some strange situations, really. I've been in abattoirs where... There's nobody that's around while I've been meeting an abattoir. I don't know, maybe it's to, um, maybe it's to uh, not frighten me, to put pressure on me, but it meant nothing to me. I've been with my son in a dangerous place somewhere in Southampton by the docks, where likely to get beaten up or killed. Would it? it was a dangerous thing to buy a second hand car that was actually too cheap for the very expensive looking Mercedes, which is probably stolen. So I've been in lots of situations. I walked the streets of London. I was 15 years old when I missed a bus in the mid-60s. And I'm not a big bloke, but I had an attitude. So I do not take bullying or intimidation from anybody. I don't take it from anybody. I'd rather be shot, knifed, but I don't take it. And I remember when my partner was mugged five years ago and I had, like now I had bad knee I could on public ground and this person come and pushed her over from behind and I was in front of her and I chased this blow effing and blinding down on the side of the street he, he, he ran so fast he ran to the side of a van I was still chasing him I couldn't catch him what he should have done was stop and say look old man you can hardly walk now you're running and you're chasing me I'm 20 and you're nearly 70 what's going on but that was my attitude it's a good attitude you have Dangerous then, I admit. I've been trying to be intimidated by the police, by local politicians, by legal people, and I wouldn't stand for it. I wouldn't stand for it. Never be bullied.